Hello, children. Today we're here to learn about quadratic equations. In lesson 9.4 of your textbook, your old textbook, that is, you will see that we have a parabola. Now, a parabola can either open up or down. Identify this, by the way, that it opens. Now, how do you graph this beautiful parabola? Well, what you gotta do is see the. To graph a quadratic function in the form of ax plus bx plus c equals y, you must take negative b over 2a, put that as the x coordinate of the vertex. Next, you will make a table of values using the equation given. Whatever point was the x coordinate is where the vertex would be. Now, take that to graph the function at the points given. Draw a smooth curve across these points. Oh no, what's that over there? I am Jeremy, Jorge Potter. Um, quick children, Jorge is a hobo. He likes to hide places and use them as a restroom. So, on the count of three, say, Jorge, no hiding. One, two, three. should be talking about, let's see, how to find the solutions to a linear equation, not a linear equation, a quadratic equation by graphing it in. Now, what we'll see here is how to take a nice quadratic graph and find the solutions to the related linear equation through that graph. Now, as you can see here, we have a beautiful graph. and we have the related quadratic equation to go along with it. Now, if you take this graph and you put the two points on the x-intercepts, those two points would be where y equals zero, as in the related quadratic equation. So, you know that because x is the input, that in that case, x of the related quadratic equation would also have to be zero. Therefore, the two x-intercepts would be the intersecting points on the x-axis. And they are also the solution. <laughs> and that is clear to see here. And that's all for now, folks. Enjoy your restroom break. <laughs>